All right, so before you watch the main video, before you get into the video, there is a quick update for you all. Gentlemen, the first Men's Essentials Meetup, the first Men's Essentials Evolve Conference is happening this month. Yes, 24th of August this month. Yes, it's happening in my city, it's happening in Mumbai, and I want you to be a part of it in case you are serious about your own personal development. In case you are serious about your style, your image, your grooming, your fitness, and your mindset and well-being, this is an event I wouldn't want you to miss. Gentlemen, this is technically a five and a half, six hours long boot camp along with dinner. I mean, you get some amazing food, you get to eat it with me and we can sit and discuss everything that there is where I can help you be your best time version. I have been planning to do it. I have been meaning to do it since a very long time. Now it's about time I actually get on board with it. Gentlemen, I want to spend my one-on-one -on -one time with you. I want you to have my undivided attention and I want you to genuinely transform and change your life. Thus, the bootcamp, thus the name Evolve. Yes, we have very limited seats, limited because I don't want to push it to 500 people and not give them my one-on-one -on -one time. I want it to be very close, very community-based and as personal as I possibly can. In case you are a decision maker, in case you are serious about your own development, in case you are ready to invest in yourself, in case you are ready to transform and change yourself, then this event is something you should be a part of. Mumbai, 24th August. I'll see you there. Enjoy the video. Oh, right. So this is annoying. This is depressing and it is also very irritating at the same time. You see, I thought we were on a path of self-improvement. You see, I thought you and I both were trying to better our previous recruitment. But alas, it just so happens that I was wrong. I was lost and I was gone. I mean, I thought we all understood the basics of masculinity by now. But looking at some of your recent behavior, I still doubt if I ever made any change at all. Well, treat this video like a wake up call. Stop being naive and grow some balls. Gentlemen, if the meaning of masculine is what you got wrong, then I'll be more than happy to shove it down. So, my name is Mayank Pranasarya. This is Men's Essentials. Let's roll the intro. So the reason I'm making this video, the reason I even thought of covering this issue is because of a lady's tweet and direct message. You see, there's this lady who dared me to either help her get over her ex-boyfriend or help the retarded boyfriend grow some real balls. Now I messaged her what I needed to in order to move on. But this video, gentlemen, is for the second half or shall I say the social reform. You see, I thought the issues that I'm about to talk or address in this video were only fictitious and fake. I mean, I never in my life, I never in my holy YouTube career ever thought, ever expected them to be real, especially from my viewers' sake. But this particular case made me think things otherwise. This particular guy made me realize and look into things otherwise. Gentlemen, the guy in discussion or the apparent retarded boyfriend is actually a men's essentials viewer and the follower of our Instagram page. And despite the fact that we empower masculinity, we promote chivalry and well-being, this man decided to do things completely otherwise. So if you are ever, ever in two minds and decide to do any one of these five or six things ever in your life, then guess what? You are a certified asshole and there is nothing I or my 235,000 subscribers or gents on board can do about it or help you with it. You'll be on your own, you'll be alone and you'll have a terrible life. So please, please listen to this video carefully. Please watch what I speak. This is important. This is important for your own well-being. Please, please understand the things that I'm about to discuss and be very careful, be very diligent about it. Okay then, ready? Here we go. The most non-attractive and the most non-masculine trait number one in being an asshole is your disloyalty. You see, your loyalty is something that can't be bought and your loyalty is something that shouldn't be sold. If you are a hundred percent loyal to your girlfriend, to your partner, to your boyfriend, then you better keep it like so. Now, this does not mean that you have to fake a relationship or you have to falsify some commitments just in order to get laid. If you are not in a place to commit, if you are not in a place to be in a relationship, you can be a hundred percent loyal about your honesty and about your truthful self. You being loyal to your beliefs, you being loyal to your ideas is what loyalty is actually all about. You don't need to fake, script or portray some illusional bullshit. Gentlemen, don't take this trait for granted. It is very important. Your loyalty portraits, dictates and personifies your character, gentlemen. Don't take it so easy. If you have always been an unworthy man, if you have always been the man who couldn't be trusted, then guess what? 
that will be a part of your character that's how people will relate and that's how people will treat you but on the contrary if you are someone who has been a man of his words if you are someone who has been loyal and strict with his own choice then guess what that will be a part of your character that will be how people will read and reflect your personality anyway being an absolute asshole trait number 2 physical abuse yes just as simple and as idiotic as it may sound physical abuse if you are a man who hits a man or a woman for any crazy reason whatsoever it may be if you are a man who even hits an animal for any stupid reason as it may be then the guarantee is you are an absolute asshole i mean you as a man forget man you as a human being shouldn't ever ever in your life hit or physically abuse anyone i mean that's the last thing you should be doing ever in your life especially for stupid reason like fun pleasure or anger <laughs> now sure if you are in a fist fight with someone or if you are fighting a drunkard then that's a different topic to talk about altogether that's a different situation altogether but again there are different cases but for every other reason for every other place for every other occasion at for every other date if you ever try to physically abuse or even hit slap or kick anyone just to prove your insecurities then guess what you are a highly insecure man and you just lost all of your masculinity just like that but hey of course if you want to disarm a thief or a drunkard then there are plenty self defense techniques that you can use muay thai and brazilian jiu jitsu and all of these things are much more optimal to disarm any of these threats but for everything else please do not be a maniac please do not be an animal of that sort moving on an absolute asshole trait number 3 physically abusing women for your mighty pleasantries i mean seriously wow is that how insecure incompetent and unworthy you are is that what your masculinity has come down to i mean i'm pretty sure i knew things otherwise but holy shit you went to the lowest of the lows ever possible because you mr asshole you are so confused about your own genitalia and your masculinity that you need to physically you need to literally slap and kick women or ladies just to prove your self worth and your role existence in this world That's seriously very empowering in case you didn't know what I mean. I mean, you know what dude, you're just lucky. You're just lucky that the woman you were even trying to slap or kick was not in a right mindset or was not ready for her own actions to kick your own stupid fucking ass. Because had she been a woman of your size and 10x your strength, then guess what? You wouldn't be alive. You wouldn't be watching this video anymore. So please, before you do any of these stupid stunts ever in your life, before you try to be any more naive and dumb about your own self and your own life, pull out your head. out of your own goddamn ass and please be a real man it does not make you strong gentlemen it only reveals your tiniest of insecurity anyway stupid moronic behavior number 4 that proves your mighty asshole worth is bullying everyone and anyone around because you see i have been a victim of this i have been a victim of bullying in my high school i quite literally know how it feels and i know the whole process and trust me it does not feel good it does not feel good being bullied it does not feel good in being the bully the same time i mean it's a very short lived exciting moment for all the bullies out there in case you are this guy who likes to prawn on this small little people and just prove your physical dominance or even your supposed intellectual dominance to some extent it will be a very short lived satisfaction you know what's really empowering you know what's really motivating when you actually be the cheerleader to your friends and to the ones in need and when you actually literally quite literally guide them and help them move up because gentlemen unlike bullying the other one is quite empowering this is a long long lived process the second bit the cheerleader bit is going to help you be a better leader it will help you understand human behavior and it will also make you this guy who can be reliable and trusted by anyone and everyone around i want you to be that man i don't want you to be the fucking bully around seriously trust me when i tell you this the kind of strength and power the kind of empowerment helping someone can give you is this one thing you cannot compare to anything else i mean i have been making these videos for 5 years and even if i change five of your lives in the process the kind of entitlement and the kind of empowerment i'll get from this will probably keep me happy for a very long period of time try it once it's a long term it's a slow process but try it once see the difference feel the difference and then come back and thank me later gentlemen that's the power of positivity that's exactly where i want you to be but hey lastly the asshole trait number 5 and 6 not owning up to your word your mistakes and point blankly misbehaving like a maniac or a freak you see there is a reason why a quote like he is a man of his words exists there is a reason why men and their words are of utmost importance and it is so because men are the kind of species who were supposed to be known for their wisdom their loyalty and their hard will gentlemen we are such species who are known for our nobility innovation and greater cause and if we do not 
stick to it if you are not a part of that noble cause then what are we even manning up about this does not mean that the opposite sex is anything less i mean come on they are kicking ass left right and center and they are a whole epic breed of human beings all together but we'll just stick to men because that's all we know about that's all we can indicate about you see if you are a man of your word if you stick to your guns and if you do what you have set out and set out to do then chances are you will be respected more chances are you will be trusted more and chances are you will succeed but on the contrary if you are a man who just takes his shit for granted if you are a man who is never serious about what he says then nobody will trust you nobody will want to work with you nobody will want to even be around you and you will be a man who will never be able to see success ever in his life do you want to be that guy or do you want to be the other guy in your life quite simple to look at quite simple to learn but not as simple as you being a bloody hooligan gentlemen there is a reason by the word gentle is added before man it just means that you are not supposed to be a crazy maniac you're supposed to be gentle poised and in charge of things that you do in your life you being loud you being obnoxiously stupid about the place where you are at you just being an absolute retard for no reason at all does not make you any bigger or greater of a man gentlemen don't destroy don't misuse don't take the word masculine or masculinity so easily you are a man you are a man for a reason you are set in this world to do a few things for that specific reason do not take this shit for granted do not take your life so easy misbehaving disrespecting and just being four folds retard is not masculine is not anything gentlemanly about a man and i would never want you to be an asshole i would rather want you to be a genuine true man tame your stupid testosterone horse use it the right way the right time and at the right place i hope it helps i hope motivates more videos on men's lifestyle coming very soon on the channel daily videos coming on the channel in case you haven't watched this you can watch the videos in hindi in case you haven't checked out on instagram you can do that as well i'll get back to work i'll get you more videos i'll keep doing it because this is my job and i have to force you to be a better self see you in the next one gentlemen dress up stay strong stay stylish my name is mangal sarya thanks for watching see you in the next one jai उसको एक नया बूथ चढ़ता है सेल्फ इम्प्रूवमेंट का सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट का ये वो हाथे को लगे भाई हाउ डू हाउ डू आई बिकम अ बेटर पर्सन हाउ डू आई बिकम अ बेटर दिस बेटर दैट दैट लीड्स हिम टू ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप बिजनेस एंड वन थिंग लीड्स टू अदर एंड ही स्टार्ट्स अ यूट्यूब चैनल एट ईयर्स लेटर सिक्स हंड्रेड वीडियोज लेटर ही हैज दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस ब्लॉग एंड दिस वेबसाइट वेर ही हैज फिगर आउट अ वे टू अपेरेंटली मेक मनी डूइंग समथिंग दैट इज लव्ड एंड मेक वन ऑफ हिज पैशन वर्क दैट ही लव अथॉट would ever happen what is that one thing that you hate in a man or a man can do better look sir so ganesh what are you going to do about this and there hasn't been a pause there hasn't been a stop there hasn't been a stop to the process ever since yes the content may differ yes the platform may change yes the narrative will always be evolving but the mission is always the same one man one life one transformation at a time gentlemen my name is vangar sarya this is men's essentials let's roll the intro